there. Welcome back. You know, you're just in time. We're getting set up to data. Start on some new custom order chairs. Yeah, you know, the nice thing about this log furniture is you can make it any size you want. We're working on a custom order today for a new customer. So I'm going to show you how to make these rocking chairs a little extra wide. You know, it's really not much different than setting up and cutting your regular chair or your love seat or your full bench. Mark them out and do it the same way. So here you can see I've already got a couple of these logs and we've taken them over and had them ripped in half and we're about to mark out what we need. And just like on all the other log furniture we're making, this log is narrower than this one. So this will be the back and this will be the seat log. So for these big and tall seats, we're going to cut the logs down to approximately 32 inches. Then like always, we're going to come in our three and a half to four inches on each side. And for these chairs, that's going to leave us almost a two foot or 24 inch seat. So we'll just take our pen start scribing out our our cutout. So you'll notice I'm drawing these out on one log. It's two chairs. We'll cut them in half after the fact. It's just a lot easier to carve these out in longer sections. Okay, so now we're drawing out the log that will make the seat. And if you remember from some of my other videos, you want it to be thicker in the front, wider in the front here than in the back. That's what gives the taper. So we're going to come up about three and a half to four inches. Make a couple of reference marks and just draw in your radius. And you'll see here how I draw a little curve in this right here. And that creates that tractor seat effect. So here again, you'll see that leaves us a nice wide seat. Almost 24 inches across instead of the standard 18. Okay then, so we got these all marked up. Next, we'll just get our chainsaw and cut them out. Remember, we're just going from line to line. done all our notches, it's real easy to scoop this out. up on its edge and cut these two pieces out. size chair. See here, I'm cutting around this knot. I want to leave that in there for character. Well, there you go. Alright then, next we just take our, our grinder and start cleaning these up. Well, as you can see, we've already done the heavy sanding. It's just a matter of doing the final light sanding with our orbital palm sand. All right, 
So we got these things sanded and branded. Let's get them stained. Man, these sure come out nice, don't they? Well, the next step is pretty simple. It's time to start bolting on the legs. To do that, we're going to use some framing squares, a pair of them, to get this thing laid out. And we'll just mark this as a reference on both sides. Now that we have all our reference marks, it's just a matter of pre-drilling where we're going to bolt this up. Then it's just a matter of inserting one of these blackened square head lags. Now we do the same thing on this side. It's pretty simple, really, once you establish your reference points to set it in place and pre-drill it. And I recommend just getting these snugged up. Don't tighten them all the way down until we get it turned upright to make sure everything's squared up. Now it's just a matter of setting the back. And to do that, I just put a couple of spacers right here on these armrests. And then that gives us a starting point to set the top on and get it all lined up. So now it's pretty easy. We just make sure we're lined up with the seat log and that we're centered. Then we're going to pre-drill it, just like before, and then bolt them on. And now it's just a matter of bolting on these armrests. Alright then, so let's do this rocking chair the same way. We've already made our marks. Just going to line this up on our reference points. Pre-drill and get it put together. Yep, it's as easy as that. The next one, put it on your marks. Go to pre-drill. Yep, you got it. Next we just put our spacers in here. And then set up our back. And now we just attach the arms. How's that feel? Yeah, you get that little jump there, lean yeah, back. Got a little, little rock to it. Yeah, that fits you pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. So you see what happens when you give a guy a chainsaw and a log? You can make just about any size log furniture you want. Short, wide, tall, or small. Any size you it's want. A real smooth rocker. You can't go wrong with this here rock. Hey now, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Be sure to click subscribe right here. Come on back next time. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LawFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.